Alright, so welcome to the final boss of EG, boss number 6, Kamado General Tour, and let me say this straight off the bat, this is how you do a goddamn final boss. Mar has done an amazing job with Tour. Everything about him is just absolutely out of this world. Fantastic. It's a fun boss, a memorable boss, and a very challenging boss, too. And the music, the music, holy shit, the music is amazing. HyperDuck Studios really just did an incredible job with this final track, so that it feels and sounds like you are taking on a final boss if you're going after a titanic behemoth that the fate of the world is on your shoulders, and without this music, the boss fight just would not be the same. It really wouldn't. And Ramar himself really just did a bang up job putting the tour together. It's pretty easy to tell that a ton of time and effort went into making this fight as good as possible. Guys made up entirely out of 3D shapes, no sprites whatsoever. He had no reason to do that, but he did anyways. And the end result is just outstanding. It really feels like a final boss. Because you can't honestly expect to simply waltz on in here, steamroll this guy, and get to the credits as fast as possible. Because with this boss, with Tor, it simply does not work like that. If you want it, you gotta work for it. And yes, this is a fun boss, but it is also a very difficult one as well. And it helps to know what's going on. So Tor has a boatload of HP, 1200 to be exact, which is three times as much as Iosa, who has had the most so far. And he has three different tiers of weapons, which are all devastating and difficult to dodge. But the one thing about him is he has a fairly specific pattern. As you can already tell, every time Tor flies back and lands, he produces a shockwave and that begins a new round. After doing that, Tor is going to fire a tier 1 weapon, followed by a tier 2 weapon, and that process repeats two more times. After that, Tor will fire a reflectable charge ball, and that's your primary method of dealing damage. And then he'll fly off again and fire a tier 3 weapon from the background. And that's it! He has no second forms or any kind of bullshit like that. All you gotta do is learn how to dodge these attacks, and you'll win. Of course, if I were to peel back the layers and take a closer look, you're gonna find out that Tor is a much more dynamic boss than initially expected. You see, the thing is, every time you dodge an attack, its power level increases, while the chance of it being fired off again decreases. However, every time you're hit by an attack, the chance of it being fired increases. So if I were to be hit with, say, a Rage Bomb, which is the cluster bomb Tor occasionally fires off, chances are I'm going to be seeing it a few more times, and I'll keep on seeing it until I learn how to dodge it. So really, it's just an interesting mechanic, it's pretty cool, forces the player to improve, and is really just a good example of design. So what I've yet to mention about Tor is what happens if you decide to dodge a charge ball instead of reflect it back at him. And what's going to go down is it's going to miss EG, and it's going to start to circle around Tor, and if you let that happen two more times, he's going to have access to his fourth tier of weapons, the Super Weapon tier. Now, if Tor's HP is about 900, he's gonna fire off the Phantom Hammer, and bad shit is gonna happen. If he's got below that, he's gonna fire off Nano Storm, which isn't quite as bad, but it's still pretty devastating. It'll put a dent in your health. So basically, don't let either of those happen at all. Really, though, you shouldn't be too concerned with Tor's super weapon attacks, and you're probably gonna have more trouble just surviving his normal ones. And easily, the worst of the bunch are the Tyrion Claws, which are the purple spinning blades. Uh, those are just a giant pain in the ass. They cover the entire screen, they can fly horizontally or vertically, and they're really just a pain to dodge. You can tell where they're gonna go depending on their rotation, but you're probably gonna be more concerned with dodging other attacks than anything else. So it's really just a uh, guess and go. Pray you're not gonna get hit. So for whatever strange reason, Tor seems to love firing off Mega Missiles during this fight. Normally he varies things up quite a bit more, but for this one, he was just sticking with his guns. Mega Missile after Mega Missile after Mega Missile. Which are personally my least favorite attack. I think they're slow, boring, and cumbersome to dodge. Nothing interesting about them at all. Except for the fact that you can reflect them back at him, 
deals no damage though, so it's completely pointless. Tor also seemed to like using the eruption attack, which is the fast sweeping laser he fires off occasionally. I actually like that attack though. It's probably my favorite of the entire fight. It was also inspired by Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind apparently, one of the famed Miyazaki films. It shares a lot in common with this game really. So it was around this point where things started to go downhill for me. I had been doing a good job dodging attacks, and then this happened. That was pretty sloppy on my end. And from here on it's just a train wreck of bad decisions and reflexes. Kinda sucks, but it's okay, because we are slowly whittling down Tor. He's cornered at this point, got nowhere to go, and we'll see whose will is stronger. So something I've always found interesting about this fight is that the normally violent, murderous EG is forced to use the only pacifist weapon in the game to defeat this behemoth, Resonance Reflector. And I really just find the juxtaposition pretty interesting here. And that was a bad move right there. I told you, it's just a train wreck from here on. But, one more charge ball ought to do it. Just getting to that point is going to be a little difficult. And yes, he finally started using Death Hail. After all this time, no more Mega Missiles. Thank God. So that about wraps up the final boss fight of EG with Kamado General Tor. Overall, just an amazing fight, a lot of fun, and one that I really have a hard time picking out any flaws. Anyways, so long, Tor.
And so here we are once again, right back where we started from on the title screen, bringing the whole thing full circle. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I certainly have. We've got a few more things to cover though, some of the unlockables and hidden sectors of the game, and you'll see those in bonus videos. So see you then.